The night air in Brooklyn is heavy with anticipation. Salim Dizan Nasridinov, a 52-year-old dual Russian-Tajikistan citizen, meticulously inspects a shipment of semiconductors, circuits, and high-tech electronics. The operation, worth millions, is a covert dance of risk and precision played out in the shadows of this unassuming warehouse. Miles away in Montreal, Kristina Puzireva, 32, and Nikolay Goltsev, 37, both Russian Canadians, are preparing for their next critical move. They are the unseen conductors of an elaborate global smuggling symphony, orchestrating the flow of these essential components from the United States across continents. The objective? To discreetly funnel these goods into Russia, a nation under the iron grip of war and international sanctions. In the heart of Manhattan, Goltsev and Puzireva, oblivious to the lurking danger, plan a crucial meeting with Nazridinov. Their conversation, seemingly innocuous, is laced with hidden meanings and secrets. This facade of normalcy masks the true nature of their illicit intentions. But as they ready themselves for this significant encounter, their plans are suddenly upended. In a swift, coordinated move, federal agents descend upon them, arresting the pair before they can unite with Nazridinov, who is simultaneously apprehended in Brooklyn. Within the sterile confines of separate interrogation rooms, the suspects sit isolated, each under the piercing gaze of U.S. federal prosecutors. They face accusations of orchestrating a grand conspiracy, a meticulously designed global procurement scheme aimed at evading sanctions and supporting sanctioned Russian entities, including companies affiliated with the Russian military. As the investigation unfolds, revelations emerge about the complexity and reach of their operation. The suspects are linked to an intricate network of front companies based in Brooklyn, New York. These entities, SH Brothers Incorporated and SN Electronics Incorporated, have been instrumental in moving electronics to sanctioned companies in Russia, a move fraught with legal peril under the strict U.S. sanctions against Russia's war in Ukraine. The narrative deepens with the discovery of Goltsev's covert purchasing strategies, posing under aliases such as Nick Stevens or Geo Ross, he adeptly navigates the procurement of sensitive items from U.S. manufacturers and distributors, funneling these through multiple Brooklyn locations. The goods, critical in the production of advanced Russian precision-guided weapon systems, are of the highest concern due to their potential battlefield applications. The scale of this clandestine operation is staggering. The group is accused of orchestrating over 300 separate shipments of restricted items, all destined for the heart of conflict in Ukraine. These components, vital for the Kremlin's military endeavors, are used in an array of advanced weaponry, including radio reconnaissance devices, guided missiles, counter-missile systems, drones, and tanks. As the story progresses, the human cost of the grinding war in Ukraine becomes painfully evident. The conflict, nearing its second anniversary, has claimed thousands of lives on both sides. Amidst this backdrop of tragedy, the revelation of the smuggling ring adds a complex layer to the international dynamics of the war, highlighting the shadowy world of arms smuggling and the relentless pursuit of those who seek to profit from conflict. In the closing moments, U.S. Attorney Breon Peace and Ivan J. Arvello, special agent in charge of Homeland Security investigations in New York, reflect on the significance of the arrests. Their words underscore the broader implications of the case, a powerful reminder of the ongoing struggle to uphold international law and combat the dark forces that fuel wars from the shadows.